Here's the key to success and the key to failure. We become what we think about. Now let me say that again. We become what we think about. Throughout all history, the great wise men and teachers, philosophers and prophets have disagreed with one another on many different things. It's only on this one point that they're in complete and unanimous agreement. Buddha said, all we are is what we've thought about. Marcus Aurelius said, a man's life is what his thoughts make of it. Disraeli said, everything comes if a man will only wait. I've brought myself by long meditation to the conviction that a human being with a settled purpose must accomplish it and that nothing can resist a will that will stake even existence for its fulfillment. Ralph Waldo Emerson said this, a man is what he thinks about all day long. William James said, the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. And George Bernard Shaw said, people are always blaming their circumstances for what they are. I don't believe in circumstances. The people who get on in this world are the people who get up and look for the circumstances they want, and if they can't find them, make them. Well, it's pretty apparent, isn't it? We become what we think about. It stands to reason that a person who's thinking about a definite and worthwhile goal is going to reach it, because that's what he's thinking about, and we become what we think about. Conversely, the man who has no goal, who doesn't know where he's going, and whose thoughts must therefore be thoughts of confusion and anxiety and fear and worry, becomes what he thinks about. His life becomes one of frustration, fear, anxiety, and worry. And if he thinks about nothing, he becomes nothing. Whoa! <laughs>